Genesis chapter 5 recently? How about Genesis chapter 10 or maybe Numbers chapter 1? Now, if these chapters aren't immediately sparking your memory, it's because they're genealogies. They're like the beginning of Matthew's gospel or at the end of chapter 3 in St. Luke's gospel. There are these long lists of name after name after name. Names that for us are extremely hard to pronounce. They're not riveting entertainment like foxes running around with torches of fire to hide in their tails. So why would God give us these chapters that are just lists of names? Well, one reason is it's a great way to tell a long history in a short period of time, to move the story forward when things are slow and uninteresting. Better reason is that this is telling the story of Jesus. See, in the Old Testament, that is a story of those who are waiting for the Messiah, for the Savior to come. And to see how the promise to Adam and Abraham was going to be fulfilled through this offspring, this seed. And it happens through people with names. And so God gives us a list of those to whom the promise was spoken. That promise given to Adam and Eve passed from generation to generation to generation. A continuous promise unbroken line of believers in the Savior who was to come. What these lists also teach us is that there is a genealogy to the New Testament. See, after Jesus' resurrection, the Bible says that he appears to no less than 520 people. Those people told others what they had witnessed with their own eyes, namely the once dead Jesus, alive. And they wrote it down. They told others, like Timothy and Titus. That is why St. Paul says, Continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it. Generation after generation, the eyewitness accounts of Jesus risen from the dead was told by people to other people. We haven't written down all their names like in Genesis 5, but there is this unbroken line from you to someone who saw Jesus alive after he died, as recorded in the Bible. In the Bible is the eyewitness accounts of all God has done in history, told from generation to generation, a genealogy that may not be exciting, But it is your salvation because of Jesus Christ crucified and risen, a story witnessed beyond all reasonable doubt. 